out of nowhere. The biggest bear you've ever seen. His hide littered with the weapons of fallen warriors. His face scarred with one dead eye. I drew my sword and... Whoosh! One swipe, his sword shattered, then chomp! Dad's leg was clean off. Down the monster's throat it went. Oh, that's my favourite part. Mordu has never been seen since and is roaming the wilds, waiting his chance of revenge. Hey guys, we had a chance to sit down with Brave director Mark Andrews and producer Catherine Serafian and ask them a few of your questions. Check it out to see if yours made the final cut. Okay, so if you could compare yourself to- I'm out! Screw this! <laughs> Who would it be and why? Compare ourselves to the characters in Brave? Right? Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, well, why don't I compare? I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare Mark to a character in Brave first. Um, um, when I think of King Fergus, I think of Mark because he is, you know, he's like, no, I don't see it at all. Right? Yeah. Um, boisterous and larger than life, and uh, and yet a true born leader who can, you know, can harness uh, the energy of many clans, many crew members, um, uh, and is uh, always, always, always searching for something. And in Fergus's case, it's it's more do, but you know, Mark is always a uh, after something, after something great, and after something uh, ominous, the perfect story. Well, then I shall return the compliment. Mm -hmm. Catherine, when I think of a, a, a fantastic leader and a powerful one, I think of Queen Eleanor, you know, who can not only control the chaoticness of the kingdom and the situation, but commands respect, but is also caring and loving and sweet and highly intelligent and compassionate. And these are all the great, uh, you know, elements that you need to, to be a queen and, and run a kingdom, just like uh, Catherine has produced this movie. Well, thank you. So much fun. And a little oh, Angus. Yes. Just a little <laughs> Angus. <laughs> yeah. like, just a little war horse yeah. in her. Kick him in the hole. Yeah. So how did you pull off Merida's wild hair? Wow. Well, that's, that's a whole dissertation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, you know, it first comes from designing her character. Who is she? And what is she going to look like? So we have this idea that she's independent and she's free-spirited and she's athletic and she's focused on discovering the world and she loves being outside um, and she's passionate. So we start drawing her. We want to make her, her, her outfit a little bit more rough and give her some elbow room with those puffy sleeves and the shoulders and she's running around in a skirt but she's climbing trees um, and she has her bow which represents her focus on the things that she's pursuing about her own life, and then we give her this big, red, curly mat of hair. So as soon as she steps out on screen, you see, you understand everything about her, that she is a wild, free spirit, and telling her what to do is not going to go over very well. She's going to do it her way. Then we have the technical issue of actually making this animatable and direct directable, and th so then our you know, technical artists just rise to the challenge and they start going through the processes to do it. We've been doing hair and clothes simulation. You know, they've been trying to do it from the beginning and it just keeps getting better and better and better and better. And when we got into doing Brave and we had this character defined saying, this is her, we can't have her short black hair that's looks like a helmet, right? Like the computer wants. We have to give her this big organic, you know, look, this iconic look. And the computer hates that. So we didn't have some of the technologies or, or parts of the technology that we need. So yeah. it was created just for this film. Every Pixar movie has to probably invent, invent what it needs to make the movie while making the movie. So we're sort of laying down railroad track as the train is as moving. As we're going, yeah. Awesome. How were the clan names chosen? A lot of those, I think they were really, really clever. You know, you have MacGuffin which is a story term that we use all the time in storytelling, you know, that Hitchcock referred to as the MacGuffin, right, of, of the story. Then you have Macintosh, which is an actual clan name in Scotland, but that was, you know, in honor of Steve Jobs, you know, uh, one of our founders, you know, for Apple, the Apple Macintosh. Dingwall, we grab because it just sounds hilarious. It's, it's an actual town in Scotland. But it is, a, yeah, it's an actual town in Scotland, which we didn't know. We so love the word. We Dingwall. love the word, Dingwall, just fantastic. And what was the inspiration behind the triplets? Mm. Yeah, well, to give Merida something, you know, uh, again, it's, it's that sibling rivalry yeah. in a sense, right? It's that Merida in her 
idea of the world, because we're seeing the world through her eyes, that her brothers, no matter how much trouble they cause, they don't even get in trouble. They're not even reprimanded once in the movie. Yeah, she they're not they can scolded. Get away with, she said they can get away with murder. And yeah. the person they're most in trouble with is, is a maidservant. Right. Really, you know, but the mom really does let them get away with stuff. Right. Dad does. They, and and it, we needed to show that contrast between the freedom that they enjoy and the sort of restrictions on Meredith's life. And so we really needed that that sibling relationship right. to show that. And also, they're quite important in the story because they, they help... Um, Merida and mom out of some binds, yeah, yeah. and they they're 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 quite important also in in the in the big finale. So you have to watch, watch and see. Okay, so last question is: What do you hope people take from this film? Wow, I hope they get instilled and inspired to be brave in their daily lives. You know, to own up to their mistakes and their faults, and that they don't have it all figured out. And that's that's cool. You know, and also be brave about who they are. Yeah. Who do you want to be? And who do you want to be in the world? Right. You know, I think that's a big important lesson that we can that we can all learn constantly over and over again. I hope they're inspired to speak out about who they are and car carve you know carve your own path in life. Say who you are, you know, and uh, and if if others don't think that that uh, you quite fit into this world, that doesn't mean that you don't. You just got to find your way. Great, thank you. Thank you, thank guys. You. Absolutely.